kasalukuyan, nagawa ko ba? Aces. Isa nating kaibigan, isang creator na ngayon, director na, nag-break ng 30,000 plus subscribers sa YouTube channel niya. Congratulations, Marco Mars. Ang galing. Ang galing. Ang ganda. Ang laking achievement nito. Ang galing. <laughs> Congrats, bro. You deserve this. You know you do. Yung pinaghirapan mo last year. Ito ang kapalit. Yan ang kapalit. So, aces. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon yung... Yung kung ano ba ang kailangan para mag-grind sa YouTube this 2021. Can you even start a YouTube channel this 2021? What are the drawbacks of starting a YouTube channel this 2021? Hindi ko pa alam, hindi ko pa naiisip yung sasabihin sa inyo. Pero habang iniisip ko, punta muna tayo sa baba kasi merong mag-birthday. So guys, birthday ni JC, anak ni Kuya. Kamusta ang kadilis ko? Kuya Albert, eh, busy kumanta. Ang galing kumanta. Ay, pumiyok. Ay, if you want that, if you want to learn how to floss, come right over here. I commented on your video on. I know. What you saw it? I saw. I saw your comment. Did I was? Did the JB can you the recorder? What? Can you record? Do I have to take over? No, though. Kamusta? Mabuti! Alam nyo guys, ito ang favorite part ko sa party eh. Yung ano, yung kainan. Ayan, tingnan nyo si Mama. Kakagaling lang yan, ang takaw na naman no. Kuya Albert, kamusta ang palak ng litsyon? Wala, wala na eh. Ubus na. Ubus na, napunta na sa chan. Napunta na sa chan. Ella! Do you know babe? Did you watch it na? You watch it on Netflix ha babe? No, but still, trigger! JC, how's the chicken? Good. Is, is it like the best chicken ever? Yes. yes. <laughs> Medyo nakatulog ako kagabi. So hindi ko natapos yung vlog. Ngayon, tapusin natin. Is it advisable to, to start a YouTube channel in 2021? Let's talk about it. So, before we start, Haku, how are you doing, man? So, is it advisable to start a YouTube channel in 2021? Let's look at the pros first. If you start a YouTube channel right now, you get to have a lot of fun creating videos that you've always wanted to create. Another pro is it makes you step out of your comfort zone. For me, that's the most important thing that I got when I started my YouTube channel. It made me step out of my comfort zone. Another pro is you get to meet a lot of creative people. One such creator is Marco Mars. Again, kung napanood niyo yung simula ng vlog, alam niyo na kung bakit. <laughs> bakit ko siya minimension pa ulit-ulit dito sa vlog na to. Meeting Newt, Marco, Yen, Edmer, Ian. That's how I got to meet them all because I started my YouTube channel way, way back. I think three years ago. Grabe, ang tagal na. Another one is you get to travel. A lot. Especially pag nakakuha na kayo nung magsusponsor sa inyo para makapag-travel kayo around the Philippines or sometimes even out of the country. And then there are those other pros where you can go to YouTube content creator camps. You get signed up by media entertainments. You get to express your creativity 
over and over and over again. Mandami pang ibang pros, pero punta naman tayo ngayon sa cons. So, what are the cons of starting a YouTube channel in 2021? Actually, nothing. Wala. Walang cons. Alam nyo bakit? Siyempre sasabihin sa inyo kung bakit. Pero, rhetorical question yan. It's because the beauty about YouTube is that there is no wrong time to start a YouTube channel. The best day to start a YouTube channel is today. Right now, tomorrow, the next week, the next month, or the next year. Whenever you decide to start a YouTube channel, that is the best time to start. Kalimutan nyo na yung mga sinasabi ng iba dyan na masyado na madaming creators, mahirap ng umangat. In the first place, hindi dapat yun yung goal nyo. Oo, isa yun sa parang long-term goal yun. Umangat tayo lahat sa YouTube. Pero first and foremost, your main reason to start a YouTube channel is to express your creativity. Yun ang number one and dapat main reason kung bakit kayo magsistart ng YouTube channel. Hindi dahil sa pera, hindi dahil sa subscribers. It's to express yourself. Pero don't get me wrong. Yes, gusto kong umangat sa YouTube. Pero hindi yun yung main motivation ko kung bakit ko ginagawa to. And if you do decide to start a YouTube channel right now, just remember Aces, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sleepless nights editing, and sometimes a lot of sacrifices. Pero, sinasabi ko sa inyo, once you start, there's no feeling like it. Except maybe nung sinagot ako ng girlfriend ko, nandun pa rin yun. Tsaka yung pinanganak yung, yung baby ko. Nandun pa rin yun sa pinakataas. YouTube, nandito, banda dito. Family, friends, loved ones. Angat pa rin. <laughs> so, yun lang, Aces. If you decide to start a YouTube channel, do it right now, the next week, the next day, whenever. Basta, walang cons. Walang cons sa pagsa-start ng YouTube channel. Kahit anong araw pa yan, kahit anong year, anong month pa yan. Just do it. Anyway, Aces, tapos na natin i-celebrate yung birthday ng pamangkin ko na si JC. JC, if you're watching this, again, happy, happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Comment down below kung papayagan ka ni Daddy. And again, congratulations to Marco Morris for hitting 31,000 plus na yata. As of now, as of right now, magaling. 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 <laughs> so that's it, Aces, for this vlog. Next vlog, hopefully makasama ko si Marco for, for a collab. Pero after na siguro ng Valentine's Day. Kasi alam nyo naman, madaming preparations. Alam mo yun, kuno. Tama ba? Kuno. Basta, after ng Valentine's Day, balik na yung vlog squad. So until the next vlog, guys, take care and peace out. Thank you.